again. Oh, sorry, the lighting is a little worse. Um, so I finally had a couple doctor's appointments. Um, going every two weeks now. Thank goodness. Um, but it's every two weeks because I'm in my second trimester, and so finally, since I I got a doctor, um, I get to see a doctor regularly. So that's uh, really good. The doctor's appointments. I'm just kind of sad that um, in the beginning of this pregnancy, I had been informed, or actually before I got pregnant, I had been informed that with the insurance that I have, I have Medi-Cal, um, that I, I had been informed that they actually are starting to cover um, midwives, which is really exciting thing to me. Um, if you don't know all the details of what a midwife is and does I would really say um go and 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 read about it um a lot of people take this as like midwives are just these like um you know all organic all pushy you know what's it called crunchy whatever um you know if you have a midwife you're gonna have your baby at home in your bathtub with no medical anything around you and your baby's gonna die it's kind of the general um viewpoint on midwives from a lot of people that i i have heard or, or read react to things about midwives that's not that's not how it is um a midwife yes they can assist with home birth and that's a beautiful thing and it's not as dangerous as a lot of people seem to think um which again read up on information and find out you know what actually is is safe and what's dangerous and you know what what gives people these misconceptions um but anywho i'm not going to get on a full tangent about that which is why i said you know go read for yourself um find out you know actual facts and basically midwives are medically knowledgeable they they are able to um, to help out and to do things that are, um, more than just sit there and have you have your kid in a tub with no medical attention, you know, like they are there and they are trained and they, they have to go through schooling, um, and everything. They are very, very good. And it's a very, um, good thing to have by your side. I was hoping to have, um, a midwife for this pregnancy, Basically because, and you know, my doctor's visits are, are kind of proving this to be true. This isn't the case for ev everyone's experience, but in a lot of cases, um, when you see your doctor, you know, through pregnancy or whatever, you see them for, you know, you wait forever and then you see them for 30 seconds, a couple minutes, whatever it is. And it's very in and out, quick, to the point, done, whatever. And... And they don't, you know, take the time to get to know you or, or know what you, who you are, what you prefer, what you don't prefer, what, just everything about your case, um, in this case being pregnancy. Um, so my experiences have been, um, you know, of having, say, well, I, I don't have the greatest um, or most expensive insurance so obviously you know there's gonna be those who say like beggars can't be choosers which is very true um, but that doesn't make it any less bothersome um, for example my last doctor's op appointment was this past Friday I literally I'm not exaggerating here I literally saw my doctor for maybe a full minute altogether and that's being, I, I saw him for like, I don't know, a couple of seconds or whatever. He, he or, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so, he put the little Doppler that reads the heartbeat of the baby, put that on my belly for just a couple seconds. Um, like I said, maybe 20, 30 seconds max. Um, said, beautiful heartbeat, you're all good. And then left the room was said you know you're doing good and then came back in the room 
and asked if I had any questions for him and then I was like alright bye and just schedule an appointment for a ultrasound and then the nurse said that I can't actually schedule it that since I have Medi-Cal there has to be like some approval thing and then they have to call like their ultrasound thing has to call me and set it up so we'll see when that happens um but I'm 22 weeks along and or 22 and a half basically um but basically 22 weeks along and it's just kind of sad like if I had a midwife that's someone who would take the time I might have you know like a long visit with them it, it doesn't have to be necessarily long long you know if I don't have time I don't have time but that being said you know a longer visit a more personal visit she would get to know things about my past pregnancy which went crazy especially towards the end um there's a lot of things that happened in my pregnancy there were some complications and things like that my first pregnancy or my pregnancy with my daughter my first daughter and a midwife would get to know you get to know like what all has gone on in your past you know your history of pregnancies and they're with you every step of the way it's not just like whoever's on call or whatever um which isn't terrible it's just it's comforting to have someone who knows all the ins and outs of you and your pregnancy what it's like what's needed what's wanted what's everything and then when it comes time for delivery they're there and 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 know okay you know this procedure um can't be done because she has a history of this and this needs to happen because she prefers this or you know, this that or the other every kind of experience is completely different and there's so 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 many different ways that labor and pregnancy and all of that goes so i'm not even going to try to like put examples out there because everything's crazy and different but point being someone who's on your side and knows everything all the ins and outs of your pregnancy and and can basically know what's needed and wanted for your pregnancy and the birth of that child um it's it's just something that's comforting to me it's something that I would have preferred I wish I could have that um maybe next time We'll see, um, but anywho, I, I went off on a tangent. I was informed that Medi-Cal is starting to, uh, or is now covering midwives, but the only midwife in my area, it's not even in my area, it's over an hour's drive away, and so I wouldn't even be able to, to go through there. I think it was about two and a half hours away. Um, when I calculated it because I wanted to see exactly where it was to see if it was even an option. No. Um, and that's the only one in the general vicinity of anywhere even close to being close to close to me. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so it's just, it's sad. So I'm just, you know, I'm seeing a, a doctor. I There were some doctor's offices near me that have... Um, it's a doctor's office, it's a, you know, OBGYN, and they have midwives on staff. That was my next preference, um, but as I explained before, my battle with even getting anyone to see me for this pregnancy at all, um, some that I tried uh, scheduling appointments for, they were full up. Other ones did not take my insurance at that time. And then a couple of weeks later, they did, but then they were full up. Or they they didn't take my insurance until, because I had called some places back that had said that they were full. I called weeks and weeks later just to see if anything had opened up or changed or anything. You know, try any last chance. I, I needed some kind of medical care for this baby. Um... So I would call some of the places back, well, then all of a sudden, oh yeah, we do take your insurance, but you're too far along. You're past 12 weeks, so we can't even take you. Well, what in the world? Like, come on now. That's just ridiculous, in my opinion. 
so basically I didn't have the option of going to any of the places. Um, I finally found one doctor's office near me, thank goodness, but, um, one place that would take my insurance and agreed to take me. And my first appointment with, with them was a couple days before I became 20 weeks pregnant. So halfway through my pregnancy, I finally got a doctor and I had a bunch of lab work done and this is just going to be a long ramble about, you know, my doctor's office visits, um, my prenatal care. I, I had a ton of lab work done and everything came out fine um, so far and went back again and saw the doctor for 30 seconds and it was very just in and out, hello, goodbye, whatever, who cares kind of thing. Um, just very quick and done. I'm just kind of, I'm not frustrated, I'm not upset, I'm just somewhat bummed that I didn't get to have the experience that I was hoping for um, due to things that were out of my control. So there's there's nothing to be upset about because it was out of my control. Um, but anyway, like I said, we'll try again next time. So far, I don't have any... Oh, excuse me. I don't have any complaints really about my doctor just that you know I saw him for maybe 30 seconds when I went for my visit but that's fine I see him every two weeks so it's not like we won't have time to possibly get to know me or my pregnancy but who knows we'll see how it goes um I just hope everything goes smoothly my last round of prenatal care the one with my first daughter was just insane so many things went wrong um but I have a beautiful healthy baby and we're both alive so we're good um I'll have another appointment in about a week and a half um I'll keep updating as as we go along hopefully I get called sometime soon for this ultrasound but thankfully I have a friend who um is going to school to become an ultrasound tech and so she's welcomed me to come to her school um, which is about 20 minutes away from where I live um, to just come on in when I can when she's in school and uh, have her do ultrasounds on me so at least I won't have to go forever without seeing my baby and go forever waiting for these doctors to schedule these things um, if I if I feel like I'm waiting too long or, <sighs> or if I feel sad and I haven't seen my baby in a while I can just say hey Tristan <laughs> Let's do that ultrasound. And she loves to do it. She was so excited when she did it the first time um, on me. I was her first OB patient that she'd ever done an ultrasound on. That was pretty awesome. Um, and I loved it. Anywho, that's mostly it. It was just a, a ramble tangent about doctors and my visits and how things are going so far. So stay tuned. We'll see if these doctor's visits get better or stay good or whatnot. And uh, things start getting good once I get to the... <sighs> Can you tell I'm tired? Um, once I get to the third trimester, I'll be seeing the doctor every week instead of every two weeks. Basically, um, generally how prenatal care goes is when you're in your first trimester, you go once a month. Uh, second trimester you go every two weeks and then third trimester you go every week until baby is born so we'll see when this baby is born I am working on getting the girls room all set up and fixed and then I will do a room tour of my girls shared room I'm pretty excited about it I did get their closet and and things all set up um, I've got a lot of things to do just because there's a lot of storage things in their room as well but I'm very excited about that, um, getting that all cleaned up and, and getting their room set up to, uh, have them share. And, um, I can't wait to have it finished. Um, and I'll show you guys, we'll do a, a little girls shared room tour, a uh, toddler and newborn shared room. Um, Emmy's sleeping right now, but life is good. Um. We're just working on getting things 
organized and in order and a little bit of sanity. So anyway, uh, go ahead and leave um, any comments below if you have any kinds of uh, experiences that you'd like to share with me. I love hearing stories about, you know, if you've had a midwife before, I want to hear your story. Or uh, if you went to a doctor's office that had midwives on staff, I want to hear you. Um, if you haven't and you've had some amazing or crazy experience with just normal OBGYN, tell me about it. I've got lots of stories to tell about my experience. So stay tuned. Follow us on our journey through family life and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye now.